So I asked my husband to come and help me and he said, sure, I'll come film you. Thanks, Rob. guys this is Patty from Flower and Flower and this is a before shot of an area that I want to work on today um, goal for the area is actually going to create like a, a flat area around here for seating I have a really pretty tree back here and some native sage that's growing off to the left of it and then I have a, a huge yard but I'm just working on a little round area that I'm going to um, try to beautify and it looks pretty hopeless right now however um, it's right off of my moon garden and I'm hoping to develop my entire yard someday, but it's just going to take a long time. But um, I'm working off of this area here. And I'm going to work on this little area that's right there today. And I'll keep you posted on the progress. area out here and this is gonna it's going to be a pretty big circle um, that's going to be in front of this tree back here and this will be off to the side and our moon garden us off to the right to the left we're gonna make a big long um, path going out the gate there and then over here I started to make some steps that come up from the moon garden and these steps are going to come out and I'm going to go up this way making more steps as we go up this hill so there'll be a pathway of stairs that we're going to create with those blocks so that when I get down to the down to about here, it's gonna branch off to go to that path that goes out that gate and this way out to there to the moon garden. And then the area that's below the stairs is gonna turn into another little seating area. So I've um, I'm done for the day because I'm tired, <laughs> but I've dug dug out um, the earth and put in two steps here. And then, like I said earlier, I don't have any more bricks, so um, I've just kind of started the staircase by just um, estimating how deep I need it with the bricks. And I just kind of dig into the earth with a flat shovel and just make my way to the top. I'm throwing all the extra dirt over here, which is going to, I'm going to flatten out and make a, a nice uh, flat patio with uh, the brick around it as well as a retaining wall. So this is day one of my little project. And then again, out to the gate there by the jacaranda purple tree. Um, this is gonna be a, a pathway, um, probably just with gravel. But you can see I have a huge yard. This is only a portion of it. And pretty much, except for the parts that I've actually worked in, um, it's covered in grass and weeds so my goal is to transform this huge yard put paths all the way through and just make it a beautiful sanctuary and uh, this is the second day of my staircase project that's going on to the right side of my moon garden to the left here um, I'm putting in a step, stepping uh, stairway using just a glove, just a glove, just a shovel, 
<laughs> and just dig it into the dirt. And then later uh, we have some bricks that are, are that are on order. And those are gonna um, make stairs. And then we're gonna fill in the back of the stair with uh, gravel. So we have a sloped piece of land. And um, if I put just a regular uh, pathway in here, um, you would slip and slide quite a bit. Um, I made that mistake in the moon garden and I thought I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to show you how I was doing it. So this is what the brick looks like that I'm gonna be using for the stepping stone. And I make it flat. I've used my um, levels to make sure that it's flat. It's level this way and level this way. The way that you make these steps is uh, you, you uh, flatten out the ground and you make it the depth of your brick, okay? And then once it's the depth of your brick, the next step should be parallel to that, okay? And then what happens is, is when you put the capstone on, it makes this lower than this. And then you fill it with gravel, which gives you a nice uh, firm platform, solid pr platform to step on. And so um, basically um, we're gonna be stepping up onto this. And this is all gonna be leveled out. I'm not done yet. So this is gonna be leveled out. There's gonna be a, a nice, circular garden here with a retaining wall and we're gonna trim up that tree and to reveal the trunk of it and we'll be planting around here uh, probably water uh, drought tolerant plants you know to save on the cost of water because we've got a lot of gardens going on so um, I've brought this stepping stone pathway all the way up and they will all be leveled and they will all be backfilled with um, gravel. It's going to come up to here. This is going to be leveled out and filled with more stone. To the uh, left of me I have my moon garden which I'm not going to show you all of that yet because it's still under progress. And um, then the other part of this project that I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a path, probably starting around here, that goes all the way out to that back gate where the jacaranda tree is. So, got a lot of work to do. <laughs> this uh, was surprisingly easy. Um, Rob's gonna take a picture of the pathway that we created going from the fence line to where the new patio is going to go and um, our, I've said it before I'll say it again our, our soil is amazing because there's very few rocks in it and um, it's super easy to shovel so I don't think this took more than an hour do you say Rob? Yeah I'm about so Rob helped me with it and um, we busted this out in about an hour and the next step is to put weed block down and then we're going to um, Buy, we bought a bunch uh, more rocks like we have out there on the curb and those rocks will be gravel on the path and then we'll create another area in our yard that will never look like this again <laughs> and that is really what the goal is um, whenever it rains the aftermath is weeds that are as tall as I am so anyways um, that's about it for today Mama's tired. Bye.
So it's too high on the back end. So that means that I need to excavate some of this dirt from the back. Because what you want to do is you want to level these out. Hi everybody, so I'm out here um, moving all of the brick that I need to complete the project. Um, and so right, the next step is um, these smaller bricks, they are the capstones that fit on these steps and you need five of those capstones per block. And then um, after I do that, I'm gonna put um, a piece of weed block um, on each one of these step platforms. And then I'm going to backfill with um, crushed rock. So the crushed rock will be the footing. It'll, it'll be the same height as the step. And when you step, it'll just be like a, the next transition onto the step. So um, I still have to set the bricks. Uh, these bricks have not been set properly yet. I have to level them and I have to put another two here. And then um, this part will be, you know, I'll be ready to, to do the finish work. And then um, over here, there's two more steps that come right off of this other patio. And uh, same thing here, weed block, put the capstones on. We're gonna use the um, adhesive, the cement adhesive to keep those on it works actually very well and then um, and then I'll show you the next step after I get all this done we're gonna put some gravel here and dig out the patio here and put a retaining wall lots of fun stuff good morning everybody so I'm gotten all of my steps placed and leveled and the next step is um, I have this black plastic ground cover that I'm going to, that I cut into a, a very long four foot um, length. And then I'm going to cut it into sections based on how wide it is and just simply lay it in here where the steps go. And then um, the next step on top of that is going to be the, the rocks, which will level it all out. And then we put the capstones on with the cement. So this is what it looks like so far. I've gotten two and a half steps done I'm gonna keep going down all right guys so um, here's the adhesive I was talking about it's called Loctite PL 500 landscape construction adhesive and I got this at Home Depot um, now um, I'm going to sweep all the dirt off of all the bricks and then we're gonna make a decision whether we want to have curved um, brick on top or straight and the way you get curved is you just simply line up all of your bricks going the same way and the way you get the um the straight is by alternating them the wide end and then the skinny end the wide end skinny end wide end and you can do whatever design you choose um for me i'm really liking the curved design just because this staircase kind of curves down and I think it would be nice. 
So I think I'm going to go for curved, unless it, um, unless I come up with too many problems with it. But um, I'm going to play around with the bricks, and then I'll um, set some of them, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I decided on my pattern, and I'll show you how it's going to look. Now this stuff is like, um, it doesn't set up immediately, so you have time to kind of uh, finesse them around. But what I decided to do was the curve, and so it's it's going to be like four curved and then I kind of go in the other direction so for two full bricks I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of the top bricks and when this stuff cures, it's super strong. I mean, you can lift this whole stone lifting this off. So, um, and this is a very, very heavy brick down below. Uh, each brick is 40 pounds. And so this is gonna be super sturdy when we're done. Um, so I'm just gonna carry on, but this is the pattern. It looks kind of nice. It, it has kind of a wave detail to it. Okay, so we have finished um, placing all the capstones on all of the steps and the next step is going to be to put the gravel down the gravel will be everywhere where you see plastic and that will um, be up pretty high so that it's actually level with the step so um i just wanted to also tell you about this um glue it does take uh two to seven days to cure and um, it does come in smaller tube. The smaller tube is like three to one. Um, for this project where I set uh, 10 steps, total of 20 blocks, it took about two tubes of uh, the adhesive. So um, the, this was about $8, almost $9 a tube. So I'm not out a lot of money and I think it's gonna look really great. Um, I'll keep you posted. I'm, I'm about to call it quits. It's getting hot out here. Have a great day. Bye. Good morning. Um, it's about eight o'clock right now. I've been out here for about an hour and I've been backfilling the steps. And uh, so this is how far I've gotten so far. So what I've been doing is I've simply been coming across this path with my wheelbarrow and we have uh, several tons of gravel in those in white bags over here from Home Depot and I'm just taking a load at a time over to the steps dumping and leveling and that's really about it I mean it's not difficult um, mentally it physically it is a lot of work so I've gotten probably halfway in one of these these uh, white bags and I have all of these to go but it's just gonna take time because I I have to plan it all out plus I have um, all most of this is gonna go on the pathway itself so anyways I just wanted to update you on how I was doing it one scoop at a time <laughs> and I hope you're having a good day bye the next step to my project is to clear this area out by this tree because right here between this rock and that rock is where I'm gonna put a stair and it's gonna be like a long one maybe two big long ones going down into the new garden so this this shrub and that shrub uh, all of that needs to be removed I've already removed a whole bunch of other debris that was uh, under this tree I definitely have cleared out a lot of debris I still have a lot to go but that's going to be for a different day um, the main goal for today was to clear out the area between these two boulders so I can make a couple steps okay so um, I placed the first three which look pretty good but then I decided that I wanted to have more 
because I think it would look nice nicer if it was a, a larger step down into the patio. So I uh, dug out the hole a little bit more to add the, the two on each side of it. And they um, are definitely not level like the first three. So I'm gonna have to um, dig that one down on the end, on the right side, down a little bit lower. And it looks like the one on the left-hand side has to be um, filled back up a little bit. It's a little bit low. So once I get all of everything, um, all of these steps level, I'm going to start making the next step. I have moved uh, about a ton of rock, literally, <laughs> and um, laying it down on top of the plastic. Um, I'm pretty tired, so I don't think I'm going to do any more today. Uh, maybe later on I'll come out here and clean off the top of the bricks, get all the dirt off of them put the adhesive on and put the capstones on. Okay guys, <laughs> I'm done with the stairs and um, I'm gonna show you uh, what they look like. I've been working hard on it. It's, we're having a heat wave out here in California, and so I'm only working in the morning, so haven't made as much progress as I had hoped, or I'm not as far as long as I had hoped to be, but we're still doing well. So the, um, the staircase um, that I have over here um, comes down from our deck, which is our moon deck, and um, there's a nice uh, gradual, Step coming down whereas before I would slide basically when I come down this way um, and then you come to kind of a landing where you can go left or you can go down so left brings you back to the moon garden and I put in two steps here and then if you come this way uh, I have three large steps that are going to come down to a patio area which is going to be over here. I'm not sure what it's going to be shaped like or, or anything. I just know that the patio is going to be here. So that's the end for this video. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a, a, a retaining wall here and this is going to be a garden. And the retaining wall is gonna go mm, maybe 10 feet down this way um, until I don't need a wall anymore because it gradually kind of levels off. But this is the path, again, which um, we're gonna cover with gravel, but that's gonna be probably the last step. But anyways, um, that's where I'm at right now. I emptied four of these huge bags of gravel um, all by myself and that is literally they're each 1,000 pounds so I literally I did two tons of rock um, and I laid all the stones um, I set all the steps and um, yeah it was, it's hard work that's it um, I'll see you next week I'll be starting the next phase of this project bye